retirement is a definite, inescapable marker and milestone. Days of retirement, at least the earlier days and years, can be described as something very much like the autumn of life. Like autumn, naturally following upon the earlier seasons of spring and summer. Gone are the previous questions, what will I be when I grow up, what trade will I pursue, where will I go to college, whom will I marry, where best to settle. As I seek to count my days aright in the autumn of life, I found it helpful to frame retirement in the following dimensions. One, retirement is a time of harvest. It's a time to enjoy the fruit of one's labors, to look on one's children with pride, hold grandchildren with joy, and lavish them all with ongoing loving direction and prayer. Two, retirement is a time for reflection. I'm drawn to be more still before the Lord in retirement years like pulling over at an Ontario route rest stop because the journey is long and it helps to pause and to reflect. When I was growing up, there was a sign on my neighbor's wall, only one life will soon be passed, only what's done for Christ will last. It didn't impact me much then, but now the words soon be passed give more focused meaning. Where have all the moments gone? And were they mainly mostly at all about Jesus. Thirdly, retirement is a time for redirection. The fruit of reflection is often redirection. Have I been on track? Am I on track now, or at least near the pathway intended for me? Am I in the way of Jesus or just in the way? following another purpose. What is there left for me that I have to do before this life's journey is complete? Fourthly, retirement is a time for reality. It's 2016 as I speak, and if I'm around still in 22 years, I'll be 90. Colors fade, leaves fall, and the gray-white barrenness of winter is inevitable. As I'm weaned from earth, as I've prayed to the Spirit of God in the old hymn countless times, other levels of sickness, suffering, and loss will unfold. So I walk forward soberly, knowing that great ends and losses of identity and health and friendship of this physical life itself are yet to come. I don't want to be preoccupied or consumed by inevitable sorrows, but they will surely come. Lastly, retirement is a time of beauty. It's a unique time, a time to appreciate the complexity of autumn's colors, to bask in the bounty and wonder and mystery of God's creation, and to feel still the passion and enormous privilege of having life on this planet. If I were to reduce the span of my life to two words, I'd choose gathering and scattering. I'm a farmer's son, and this earthy metaphor is part of my very being. I'm continually collecting experiences, pictures, movies, articles, words, conversations, relationships, with an almost insatiable curiosity. I do so in research mode with endless tangents and non-linear conclusions that may unsettle some, but I find it an inescapable part of my wiring. But gathering is not enough. I must also scatter. 
with much raw data gathered into mind and heart, and with my file cabinets, my mind, my computer drives, and iCloud almost filled, I cannot but find ways to get it out. One way is through my website at Talker Studios, and I still have several other blogs that I update regularly. Otherwise, when there remains a message in my bones, I must preach it still, write it, dance it out, Nikon it, YouTube it out, video, or sometimes just laugh and joke it out. My mode of discovery has often been more by instinct and hunch than by rigorous research, although I've done that too. But the discoveries I've made are also sometimes born out of prayer, and I know myself to have been oftentimes directed or thwarted, preserved and challenged, even spanked by God's Spirit. Yes, I have so much yet to share, so much to do, and so do you, sharing who and what we are and who we're on the way to becoming. We are God's channels, little lengths of pipe through which flow God's ways and God's work in this world. We are step-down transformers through which the power of the universe God's boundless love and grace, His redemption, hope and healing comes to enliven people. <laughs>